There's something a lot better going on. Not just your ancestors' freedom, but your freedom from sin once and forevermore is happening in this moment. We're celebrating the fact that in a few short hours, my body is going to be crushed and ripped to shreds for your sake. This is what we are remembering. That this blood, again, that he spills, is the blood that he says here, is the blood of the new covenant. The new covenant that we read from Jeremiah 31. The covenant which says that they will be my people and I will be their God. Yes, even though they rejected me and turned away from me constantly and over and over again. I am going to establish a new covenant. Wherein I will remember their sins no more. Did you get that verse in Jeremiah 31? To me it's the most ama- one of the most amazing verses in all of the Bible. That the God who cannot forget chooses not to remember your sins. That the God who knows all things, the order of all these events, the intricacies of all life, in all circumstances, and in all things, He chooses not to remember your sin. That is the gospel that we declare. That when He says that you are free from sin, and as He says and declares through the Apostle Paul in Romans 8.1, that there is therefore now no condemnation for them who are in Christ Jesus, He means exactly that. There is no possibility of condemnation for you who believe in Christ Jesus, the true and better Passover Lamb. The true and better One who has come to take away our sins. 